go, go. Hey, don't cross the street. It's not good for you. Stay on this side, okay? Okay, bye. Just saved a turtle. No big deal. <laughs> Oh my god, there were some close calls before we got out there to oh help him cross. A car went right over him and I saw him like duck into his shell. He was like, oh! <laughs> oh, But he made it and he's on the other side and he's safe. He was so mad at Meg. He, he kept hissing, hissing at me. I was like, like alright. Sorry dude, just ah. keep going, keep going. He wouldn't let me pick him up. I had to just like take my sweatshirt and keep hitting his butt. <laughs> Traffic was very nice though. Once they realized what we were doing, they stopped. Yeah, they were. Um, I don't know, did we say? We're on our way to Tim Hortons again because we want coffee, so. No, we haven't vlogged at all today. Oh, we haven't vlogged hello to the vlog. Was that another? No, that wasn't another turtle, was it? No. I hope not. A whole family turtles. We gotta rescue them all. No, so this morning, we've been up since 6.30. Yeah, we have been. We got up, edited a, a vlog, edited a podcast episode. Meg did that. Power to her. And then... We're... He's Thank dialing you, you know there's oh, nobody. Okay. Thank you. Um, then we worked out, ate breakfast, saved a turtle's life, and now we're rewarding ourselves with some timbers. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, success. Great success. Great success. <laughs> <laughs> Mike got an ice cap. I got a French vanilla coffee. She got a chocolate chip donut. Yeah. And then, I saw they had a banana split muffin. I didn't order it, and then we get up to the front, and I said it again, and Meg's like, why didn't you get one? And I was like, should I get one? She said, yes. So I asked the lady, can you add one of those? She's like, sure, I'll give it to you for free. You were waiting a long time, and we weren't waiting a long time, so Tim Hortons. They are crazy in there, though, so yeah. I think that she felt like we waited a long right. time. <laughs> so I have a banana split muffin now. Life is complete now that I can get ice caps whenever I want. <laughs> Look how cute. Little Tim Horton. Cuppy cake. I don't think I could bite it. <laughs> it's good. Oh, it smells good. My mouth's watering. Is there a filling? Chocolate. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest muffin I've ever eaten in my life. Recreate what you did. What? When you took a bite. <laughs> Why? Because it was great. I took a bite and I went. Because <laughs> it's so good. It tastes like a banana split. My jaw is gone. <laughs> Yours is good. She shared. I shared. That's really personal. There's chocolate in the middle. I just bit further. Look, there's like pieces of strawberry or jelly. For the strawberry, right? Chocolate for the chocolate. I'm guessing it's a banana muffin. It is. Is there? The only thing that's missing is a cherry on top. That's okay. No pineapple. Is there pineapple in it? Is there supposed to be? Like Isn't a traditional? Isn't there usually pineapple in banana splits? I don't know. I don't taste pineapple, but I'm okay with that. Good evening. Hello. It's now 6.30. It's been hours. <laughs> hours and hours. Of cleaning. And dishes. Yeah. So, um, we are on our way to the Cleveland Zoo because we're sleeping over there. Slumber party with the lions. I'm pretty excited. So, this was actually a birthday present from Katie to me, and Chrissy is going to be there as well. Um, but it's an overnight at the zoo, and you get an animal encounter tonight, like a dinner, s'mores on the fire. Um, and it, this one specifically is adults only. I know like a lot of like, like Boy Scout groups or Girl Scout groups or just I mean, I think anybody can book these, but they do a lot of kids stuff too, but this one specifically is adults. Yes, and it's, it, it is World Tiger Day, and 
you're gonna go running to. Tomorrow in the morning we get breakfast and then we get a behind the scenes tour at the zoo and I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that it's the tiger exhibit. I don't know where I'm going, I need to tell you where I'm going. <sighs> Guys, she's just hopeless. <laughs> Alright, well we'll see you at the zoo. Wait, wait, we don't know what thing we're getting a behind the scenes tour of. No, I'm just hoping it's the tigers, but yeah. it could be anything. I'd be happy with anything, but particularly happy. for the night inside the zoo. And there's a fire pit. I'm also super digging with music right now because of the Asian Lantern Festival going on, so. Knock, knock. <laughs> hey, thanks, ma'am. I got our cabin testing. Whatever <laughs> it is. That's cool. We keep out all the bugs. Oh, what are we in? We're in the rhino tent. Kafaru. <laughs> Kafaru. Rhino. Kafaru. The baby rhino. Yes. At the Cleveland Zoo. Look at these two rhinos chilling by their tent. Sweaty. Yeah, they give us a fan, they give us cooling towels, or could three rhinos want? Some food. Yeah, we're waiting on food. How's the food? It's good. The cookies are delicious. I'm waiting on a veggie burger because they forgot. But that means it'll be fresh, so... Oh. Yeah, I'll bring it around. We can touch this guy. Uh, they're actually really cool. Uh, they're a very different kind of species of cockroach. And they're the only cockroach that cannot fly. When they're angry and when they want to just give a warning to others. But they don't actually hiss. They have these air sacs called spiracles in their sides. And they take in air and like squeeze it out really quick. And that's part of their defense. It, as much as we may not like them, they're kind of important. So they don't hesitate. live in our area, they wouldn't be able to survive? Uh, eh, no, they'd survive just fine. They're, yeah. they're, they're cucarachas. They can live anywhere. Can you make them hiss again? I don't know if I can. I can try to see if I can get them in the bag. So oh, they cool. puff up and they'll take in a little bit of the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, are they African? Yeah. Mm. Oh, they are? Oh, yeah. See, it's my first time. I don't know anything about them. I just know that it's not a snake to me. Got rules about touching them. So, uh, one finger is a yeah, poke, two fingers is a touch, oh. one's a poke, two's a touch, oh, yeah. and then we'll just go along his back and feel where his, uh, feel his scales. Oh, yeah. Oh, his head. Oh, he's beautifully soft. Yeah. I mean, snakes beautiful aren't color. slimy or anything. Here's the only place you can find a tenorek, like, Elena. Um, they're called lesser tenrecs. So if you've ever heard tenrec, you may have heard of a greater tenrec. Completely unrelated. Just happens to have the same name. Um, as you can tell by looking at her, she looks a lot like hedgehogs because um, she also has those spines along her back. But the fun thing is that they're actually not related at all. Her closest relatives are things like moles and shrews. It just so happened that she also evolved to have those spines along her back. I mean, you are welcome to give her a touch. It's going to be the same thing like we did with the snake, two-finger touch down her back. If you go the other way, it won't really hurt, but it won't feel very good for her. And as you can start to see her face, you'll see she's got big ears and Aww. little eyes. Katie, do you want to be there? And so if you can think of, we always say things like, you know, blind as a mole, things like that. Really close and, yeah, 
she was napping and she's got one more foot stretched that's going to come out. I promise she does have four limbs. <laughs> the reason that we love to bring out turtles is because Cleveland Metro Park Zoo has a really long history with turtle conservation. We've been doing conservation work for over 20 years and our very first program we ever created was the Asian Turtle Program. So we work with organizations in Southeast Asia. Oh, oh great. She peed all over me. Thanks, Yellow. <laughs> so is life. Yeah. She did just wake up. She did just wake up. Yeah, at least I'll wear a different shirt tomorrow morning. I promise. You can feel everything if you touch her back. Um, their spines are fused with their shell, so it's all one piece. And we saved one of these guys on the road today. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs>